AI buzz and Gen AI may be, may be prevalent only in the last, uh, I think, three years or so when the first chat GPT model came out. But in reality, uh, specifically in the semiconductor industry, we have been using machine learning and AI uh, for a while now. Right? So uh, chip design fundamentally has many complicated problems, which are what we call as NP hard problems, meaning you cannot guarantee a solution in fixed order of time. However, if you propose a solution, you can verify whether that works or not. To the extent that today, uh, roughly about 50% of the chips that are getting designed use artificial intelligence in some form or the other. Right? And the expectation is that in the next several years, that will be 90% of the designs. So uh, being part of this uh, cycle of helping our customers and leveraging AI to help our customers has just been a very natural, uh, natural step in my journey in chip design, uh, supporting my customers. Right? Now, with the advent of uh, Gen AI and Chat GPT, and now more recently, you know, much, much smaller and more powerful models just become much more accessible and enables us to serve our customers uh, better. So I stay for what we can bring to our customers in terms of helping them go to market faster, better, with much more innovative solutions. I came here much more as a natural progression because we've been using machine learning and AI in our solutions to power algorithms for a long time now.